Normally, we see animals from the outside. Today, we're going to go inside the Canadian Nature Museum and see animals from the inside out. Please note that no animal was harmed or killed for this exhibit. It was done in cooperation with veterinarians, zoos, and animal groups. Although sharks are vertebrae, their skeleton is cartilage, not bone. Sharks have two types of muscles, red and white. Red for endurance, because it's constantly in motion, and white for short bursts of acceleration to catch its prey. Most fishes, like the shark, have a heart with just two chambers, an atrium and a ventricle. Hearts with four chambers and a separate circulation around the lungs evolved only in birds and mammals. The ostrich is a bird that can be up to 2.75 meters in height, making them the world's tallest bird. The ostrich is much too heavy to fly as an adult can weigh up to 150 kilograms, about twice the weight of a man. Although the tiger is the largest cat, the lion, shown here in a cross-sectional, comes in a close second. Despite its size, it has the same essential skeleton and organ structure as a harmless household cat. But now, they're just plastic. So you can touch them. They feel like rubber. So that's a pig's heart, it is, a, a that's human heart, heart, a baby pig, and a human There we go. arm. Mm. What it does yeah. is it just perfectly preserves the shape of it. There's nothing real in it anymore. But yes, these were all animals that were real. We didn't kill any of them for this exhibit. That's these were all living in zoos. So once they died in zoos, usually they either bury them or burn them. So instead of letting their bodies go to a waste, we had them preserved for science so that people could learn from them. The human brain has the same general structure as the brains of other mammals, but is larger than any other in relation to the body size. If spread out, the human brain would be approximately 1.5 square meters. The giraffe's brain is actually smaller than expected for an animal of its size. It weighs only 680 grams, representing 0.05% of the animal's body weight. By contrast, a human's brain accounts for 2% of its body weight. Eyes are connected to the brain by optic nerves that intersect so that both halves of the brain receive visual information from both eyes. This is a cat's brain. An adult horse's digestive tract can be up to 30 meters long, and its stomach features a non-return valve that makes it unable to vomit. The size of the human heart is roughly that of a fist. It pumps about 75 milliliters of blood with each beat. At rest, the average heart beats about 70 times per minute. The towering giraffe has an exceptionally long neck, but the same number of cervical vertebrae as a human, seven. Each vertebrae is just much longer, helping it to make the giraffe the tallest living land mammal. A giraffe's heart works hard to pump blood up to its brain, fighting gravity all the way. It pumps up to 60 liters a minute, with a range of pressure up to three times greater than a human's. Mammals share a common internal organ structure. Here, the thoracic and abdominal organs of the human are shown in their natural respective positions. Unlike other vertebrae, mammals have a diaphragm that separates the heart and lungs from the abdominal organs. The diaphragm is the primary respiratory muscle. When its fibers contract, the dome-shaped muscle partition is pulled down, sucking the air into the lungs. The chest contains the main organs of respiration and circulation, the lungs and the heart. Together, these organs sustain some of the most critical functions of the body. In humans, the entire digestive process takes about a day. Other vital organs inside the abdomen include the liver, the kidneys, the pancreas, and the spleen.